Hi, this is Arden Kirkland, and this is a quick tour of the digital exhibit for better and for worse. This digital exhibit was developed in conjunction with a gallery show at Vassar College in 2013. This show was inspired by a donation and loan of five wedding dresses from the same Vassar family, four generations worth. We brought together a variety of other wedding wear, photographs from the Vassar community, and a student conducted a series of oral history interviews. The stories represented explore changing views of marriage over the last 160 years, including the 2013 view of marriage equality, which was particularly relevant uh, since this display was open while the Supreme Court was debating the legality of same-sex marriage. So, how is this exhibit structured? Well, the tabs in this row at the top, this top navigation, let you work your way through different sections of the exhibit. So they start with the introduction. We'll go back there where we were at the very beginning. And then they work through different groups that are thematic rather than so much chronological. Here we are with our four generations, five dresses again. Now, many of you may just want to jump in to see the objects, and that's what happens when you pick one of these sections in the middle. Then you see some other navigation come up, this row with the black backgrounds behind each item. And those are each, uh, there's an introduction, and then each page is an item, and you can tell that those are numbered. So let's go to the dress for Mary Lee Hartzell. And we'll look at this as an example of uh, the basic object page and what it includes. So we still have our section navigation, our page navigation, and then we're seeing more about this particular object. So some of what you'd expect in pretty much any digital exhibit, some images, small and large, some basic tombstone information. At the bottom, there's some interpretive text depending on what's in the interpretive text, maybe a credit line or some citations, if there are any references. But these pages also have been designed to include a little player here in the middle. If you press play, you'll get to hear the oral history interview of the woman who wore this dress. There's also an embedded object VR. So here you're seeing a view of the dress rotating so you get a sense of what it's like in 3D. There's also a link to view that 3D view at full size, and there's a link to read the transcript of the oral history view if you're interested. So those are some added things for this particular exhibition that we wanted to include for most of the objects. Now, let's go back. Let's say you wanted to go through the entire exhibit in order, which I hope you will. So let's go back to our introduction. And if you start at the very first page of the introduction, you can actually go through, look at the images, read through the text. If there are any other multimedia links, you can click on those. And then when you get to the bottom, you'll see that there's a link to take you to the next page. So rather than jumping around like we just did, you can actually go in order, page by page, so you're sure that you don't miss anything. You'll also find some other added content, things like this. This is an embedded timeline showing some interesting moments in the history of marriage in Western culture, of weddings, some interesting items. We'll go down and go to the next page again. Here's a little information about how to view the exhibition for those who aren't so tech savvy. We've been here before, we're in our section of four generations, five dresses, and now you see that, that the items in this row have changed now that we're in a different section. So here's our introduction to this section. And if we go down, we can again go to the next page. And so you're getting the idea that you can really make sure that you're going through in an entirely linear fashion and that you don't miss anything. 
But you get the idea, I think. So I'm going to skip ahead and just look at, uh, point out a few other things. So if we click on this top link for the rotating views, this is a place that has links all in one place to um, all of the objects in the exhibit for which we have the object VRs, rotating views. So if we click on one of these, it might take a moment to load, but this will take us to the page in the regular, uh, the, the full Omeka site uh, for, for this particular project um, that has this object VR in the database. And you can see that a um, little bit larger. And there's also a link here to any, a full screen view as well. But we'll go back, get back into our navigation for our exhibit. Um, and after the rotating views, there's also even a video. So I won't play that now, but you'll see there's the player here. Um, this is a video that a student made to uh, compile some of the different oral histories that she recorded and put them together uh, to kind of show some of the connections across the different uh, stories. So that video is there. And there's even a link, this is something that, that you have an option to do or not, to, uh, to download that multimedia content if you want to. So that's, that pretty much gives you the idea of what there is to see there. I'm going to go back here so you can see the link again. So you can check that out yourself. I hope you will, and I hope you enjoy it.